Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Appreciate you in the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. This is episode 137. You follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Very special guest in the building. Spotlight episode this week, y'all. Introduce yourself to the audience. I'm A Strat and I'm the Leather King. Come on, you gotta get more than that. You can't just. I'm oh, you want the whole package? <laughs> lab- so I'm A Strat lab- and I'm the Leather King. I mean, handmade, <laughs> exclusive, one of a kind leather bag. All right, copy. There you go. Say it with your chest now. I got we don't spot. We don't spotlight frivolous situations over here. So you okay. won't let the people in the back let them know what's going on here. Now, I thought, I thought episodes, you was giving it to them by pieces. I got you. Spotlight episodes get reversed. So we start off a spotlight episode with what do we need to know? What do we need to know is when you break the whole situation down for us. And that is sponsored by H2H Cleaning. That is at H2H Cleaning on Instagram only. That's my cleaning company. We do roofing, plumbing, flooring, HVACs, cleanups, cleanouts, uh, upholstery. Uh, We can get you power washed. You need something removed. We got all of that love for you. Just get at us. I'm telling you now, the power wash drinks is a little expensive. Just before you call me and ask me, I'm telling you all now. They're a little up there, but we got you. (laughs) Um. That's at H2H cleaning, though, you know, like I say all the time, big jobs, small jobs, we can do them all. Painting, whatever you need, we got it all over there. Just tell us how we can help, because we're here to help. Now, spotlight on you, A Stratton, we need to know. Tell me about what we need to know. Oh, basically, um, I've been sewing since I was nine years old. My mother had two boutiques. So, my road to fashion was a little bit rocky, but as I jumped into it, it just it just absorbed me. So I've been making leather bags for over 25 years. I started making bags when I was incarcerated. I got incarcerated at a young age, got in some trouble. I got incarcerated. During my incarceration, I started doing leather. I went back to what I knew, which was what my mother was teaching me about sewing. And I added the facts of learning business. I wanted to be able to come home and hit the ground running and do something positive with myself. So I started making leather bags. And now I'm known the people chose my name as the Leather King. What made you want to use just leather, though, to make all your situations? Because leather is exclusive. When we're talking about leather and mink, it's equivalent to diamonds and pearls. So I wanted to use something that could stand the test of time and will hold up. So the reason why I love that is I'm all about finding a niche and dominate this dominate this lane. Uh, the thing that you did there was found something that makes you an exclusive product. It makes you a different product, and it makes it something that everybody cannot do. Not only don't they have the, the talent, the capability, and the skill to do it, it's just flat out not even something that they would have thought about. So salute to you for doing that. Because nice. I think the PMB rock bag was the first joint that I seen. Yeah, oh, actually, that's the pillow. All right, it's the pillow. Okay. Yeah, I think that was the first joint. Right, yeah. I, I think that was the first joint that I seen that was like, "What the hell is this boy doing?" And yeah. then, uh, that's what made me tap in with you. Talk to me about them type joints, though. When you got like a, a, a inspirational, because you got like the that's this is the type of thing that takes the artistry. So, yeah. So, so first of all, you know, we Philly natives, right? PMP Rock. He's one of the throwest rappers out of the city. I had the pleasure of meeting him a few times, and um, I'm in contact with his with his folks. So I made that pillow to um to to comfort his mother. So I was able to make the pillow and then give it to his mother. And I was inspired because I've never made a leather pillow before then. So I said, man, what can I make a leather bag with her son? No. A leather pillow that would comfort her. She can have that and hold it how she want hold and it. use it how she want because Copy. you know sometimes we need that. You know what I mean, so that's what inspired me to do that piece. But as a, a as a whole, I make exclusive pieces one of a kind because when you get something that nobody has and you know that this is exclusive, it feels different. It feels different to say, "Oh yeah, this is the only one. Ain't no more of these." 
You know, I mean, this is just to me. I this is made to my liking, to my image. Um, and there's only one. So that's yeah, why you, I make those type pieces. You you talking to the right guy with that whole thing. We're gonna put a pin in that right there. I'm gonna pull that pin for you later. I got you though. So okay, put me on. <laughs> You got any other pieces that was inspired by anybody? Not that you even had to do like PMB was a different situation because he passed. Yeah. Uh, so not even like a piece that had to be like I made a piece about Jam Master J or whoever else. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you have anything else that was like this was inspired by anybody or anything? Yeah. So um, there's a bunch of pieces I do. I do. I get. I, I draw my inspiration from the culture. So it's a. It's a. Um, I made a tote. And it's cream. I don't got the picture right here. I wish I could just pop it right up. So I got a cousin. What you saying is you give me that picture and we'll post that up once the episode yeah. goes up. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to pull it up. I'm going to send it to you. So it's a picture, right? And I made it years back. But um, I called the um church. It was called church. And it's a large uh tote bag. And when you see the the um the um patterns on it, you're going to be like, wow. Yeah. But I'm, I made that piece from Meek Mill's song church okay. and i was inspired from that but all my pieces have its own separate inspiration and um i name them as such like i just did a piece for frankie darcel hers was inspired because of her um college alma models and she is in the hall of fame so i made the bag on the strip and then i put her alma models on there and her aka you know what i mean so those type of things make the bag personal. And then I'm using exclusive, one-of-a-kind, exotic pieces, alligator, stingray, ostrich, python. I'm using these exotic leathers talk that, that make talk. the bag last longer. <laughs> you know what I mean? Talk that talk. I'm using ostrich. <laughs> yes, talk genuine. You'll get these pieces from somebody else, even major companies. I'm not going to say no names because it's some companies that I like, but major companies that people buy in, they will give you a, a leather that they will say that this is embossed alligator. Us as a people, we like, we don't even know what embossed means, but it just means that it's just a print. It's just a print of alligator. It's not the real alligator. And the two are two different things and they stand up different. Uh, one thing that I messed up, uh, my bad for this one, sound like them. We're supposed to start the episode off that way. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Excuse yes, sir. Me. Now, the two pieces that are above you right now, talk to me about these two pieces that are above you. There has to be a reason that you got these oh. two on camera and dangling. Okay, so this piece, this is one of the first pieces I ever made, right? This is ostrich, and this, this burgundy, dark burgundy, this is actually Wilson basketball leather Print is genuine leather, and this is what they use at Wilson to make their basketball. Tell the people right? who are listening on the audio, I mean, what are we looking at right now for those who are not on the visual? So you're looking at uh, uh, a strand large tote bag, right? And this bag, I call it handcuffs because I use a lot of um, hardware around it, right? And it's not a light bag. It's not a light bag. But this bag breaks down and lays all the way out so that you can use it all the way. These two buckles come off, and then I lay it out. You can lay it out. So you got the option. And like I said, I made and this said early in my lot, career. You got the small, you got the small, then got the larger one in the joint. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is our key. You, know what I mean? so you see that? I let you see that close up. That's actual basketball print. And then here mm -hmm. is patchwork. Ostrich, so you can always tell ostrich by the bumps. Those are coming; they come from the feathers. So this is patchwork. I cut these little pieces and I put them together. Now, how I mean? long would you tip? How long would you typically say it takes you to make a bag? This bag took me at least. Um, this was that was your um, first joint. I, so I don't want hold up because you said this is my first joint. So I know this is not my first. Thing. This is one of the first exclusive totes. Okay, I've copy, copy. My bad. So this was done earlier. Maybe two thousand six. How long you been making? A, how long you been making the? How long you been I, the king of leather? Excuse me. I've been making bags since um, two thousand and four. Okay. So how long I've would you say it would take you to? 
How long would you say it take you to make the bags though now? This this bag was maybe um I would say thirteen thousand stitches. So this bag took me about I would say four hundred hours. Okay. If you add it up, it would take about four hundred hours if you add it up. Cause it's stitch by stitch. So this is four hundred hours. No, nah, my mom is seamstress, so I get I get them type joints. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, no. So yeah, but more Talk so you got the, no, the hold up. bags. Talk. Now I mean this All is right, the alligator this. drawstring with the chain. And this is lambskin. How, how long you do one of those take you to put together? This right here probably this will probably take me about sixteen hours. Okay. About sixteen hours complete. Talk to me about this, the other one. We got the yellow and pink one up there too. Talk to me oh, about that. Oh, this is the now this is this is the deer skin. This is deer and lamb, right? This is the tote. It's a set. It's a big pocket on the front. It's a big uh I mean it's torso on the back. There's a big pocket inside inside. There's two gold handles on it, right? Now you draw this like a book bag. You carry this like a book bag. But it also has a clutch that goes with it that doubles as a fanny pack. So you can wear this as a fanny. And in the so fanny pack strap, it has the A Stratton, my logo, and the strap. Okay. And then on the front, it has my logo. And there's a zipper pocket. And there's also a big cell phone pocket on the back. You know what I mean? This is a really soft and summery bag. And it also comes with a dust bag. And what's the time on this one? This one probably took me about a hundred hours. This is for the, 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 the this piece and that piece. What would you say is your most popular piece? I have a piece that I don't even I haven't even it's it's in the back, uh, bundled up. It's an alligator um backpack. That's a good piece. But let me show you a jacket. So yeah, while we waiting for him, and said, this is all genuine uh, leather situations here. He had making these joints and putting them all together, and now he gets on with the fur on the jacket. Talk to us about the jacket again. You gotta remember, we got folks on audio, so tell them about tell them about what what we what we so what, are displaying. So they're looking at right now is this is a handmade leather bomber jacket with the mink collar. Now all is all different color minks. There's Hennessy. Right, there's cocoa, there's dark chocolate, right, and then on the sleeves, there's leather, right? This is a dark, uh, caramel leather, but uh, the ace tracking embroidery all the way down the sleeves. So, this this was all um patchwork mink. I took a lot of different color minks, I chopped them up, I sewed them together, and then I made the jacket and I made the leather sleeves. And then I put the zipper pockets every I'm mean, on the inside as well. And then in the back you'll see the A Stratton logo. You tag all your pieces with your logo? Yes, everything has my logo on it. Sometimes some people don't like the logo, and it's also on the inside. It, it's an inside of the uh prop um because it's important that you know you, you know give you got it from. your creation um uh authority. All right, so now you just ran us through a bunch of your different pieces and all of that. So if somebody wanted to get in contact with you and say they wanted to put a bag together, they wanted to put a jacket together, they wanted to put any of those different situations, well, how would they go about doing that? Easy. I have a website. You can check my website out at astratton.com. That's www.astratton.com. Also, I'm on all on all. Social media platforms is at A Stratton. So everything's A Stratton, which is A S T R A T T O N. That's A we'll Stratton. Have, we'll have all of that in the episode description so you can click the links easily once you download yes, the episode. You give us five stars because we only accept five stars, not four, here on the How to Hustle podcast. Right now, we're going to switch it up a little bit and we're going to go to the next segment. But also remember that I told you we put a pen in something. Next segment is Get to Know. 
which is sponsored by Custom Hustle, which is my clothing line. We do custom jerseys, custom jackets. This is something like you said, those one of one pieces. All of the jackets are custom designed. They one of one unless you buy four of them. Also, this week we have on the CH4s. I got four different versions of my own sneaks available in all colors. But like you said, those different signature pieces, when you start saying that, again, this is how looking at your joint, this is all you speaking my language. We do custom jerseys, custom jackets, football, basketball, baseball, hockey, sweatsuits, sports, cargo pants. You name it, we got it. I own the outfit as my tag. Flip flops, barber capes, you name it, I got it. We hustling everything over there. And working on the ladies line, I'm trying to get some stuff together for the ladies right now. Um, you got a pink and uh, black bag on the page that looks exactly like something I'm working on. Um, but that's over there at Custom Hustle World. That's my clothing line. It's Custom Hustle Co. on Twitter. Now, this is the Get to Know segment. You brought her up. We always like to salute these situations. What's the best advice you got from your mom? From my mom. So, my mother told me when I was younger that the only, I mean, the best way I would succeed is if I had patience. And up until then, I never had patience. And my success has been solely because of my patience. So if you got patience, you, you can succeed because that gives you a chance to sit back and look at everything. You're rushing through things, you're going to not be able to see a whole lot. So I, I advise you to be patient. Be patient with, with your product, but also be patient with yourself. I usually patience. don't jump in. I usually don't jump in on the, uh, <laughs> on the get to know because it's all about getting to know you, not me. They already know me. Um, okay, but patience is my problem. I'm a very impatient person. Yeah, and the one thing I do always tell people though about like doing the clothing line is I don't do things just to say I have it. Like yeah. if I don't like, like, I got some hats done and I didn't like the hats, so I'm like I'm not selling nobody these hats. These are for uh hair. I gave my wife one. I gave my niece one. My man, like just to. You can just have it on if you just want to, but I'm not charging you a quarter for this because I don't like it. Yeah. You can't rush into things just to say you're doing them and then they, the quality ain't there. Because ultimately, like you said, your signature is on that. Your name is on that. They're going to say, yes, where did you get that from? Oh, I got this drone from Hype and this drone's BS. I got that drone from A Stratton and that Ooh, drone like this. You never want nobody to say that. What you want somebody to say is, damn, where you got that drone from? No, oh, cuz hooked me. Yes, sir. <laughs> like, that's the type of Right about that. Like. So... Uh, I always try to tell people, I listen to all my episodes and pay attention to what the guest is saying. I know patience is something that I need to work on. And patience was the first thing that you said mom gave you. So copy. I'll try to take heed to that. So, um, since you said, inshallah, this is what the next one is. What do you get out of Ramadan? Ramadan. Oh, so we all it's a, we all promise a lot of different things in Ramadan, especially uh, paradise. And we know that Ramadan is not for us; it's for Allah. Um, mm -hmm. um, but it it rejuvenates me. It rejuvenates me. My 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 faith, my 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 patience, um, my health. Everything gets rejuvenated. It's a it's a start over button. You get to restart. And then it calms you. So for me, it calms me and it restarts me. I'll copy that. Uh, that's what I said. I told you I'm on year 28. <laughs> and um, You got 28 restarts. That's what I'm saying. It is definitely makes you reflect and like watch the way that you move it. It makes you <laughs> slow down and reflect is what it does for me. Um, lastly, uh, I'll throw out a year at you. Tell me the first thing you think about this year, 2004. In fact, you said you started in 2004, so we're not going 2004. 2010. Uh -huh. Give me 2010. 2010. I was, I was anxious. 2010, I was anxious to get my, my show on the road because I was focused. I'm like, oh, I'm going to do this. I, was, I, was, I got notebooks of 2010 of just everything that I was writing down, my game plan, uh, everything that I accomplished that I studied from different – um, uh, um, certificates and business angles, and then sharpening my handcrafts. So, 2010, I was it was my anxious year. I was I was ready to get started. 2010, you would say you was laying down a foundation for your situation. Then. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. All right. Before we close this one out, because I asked you about this before we started, I asked you about the hat that you have on. Do you do hats? 
I do have. I do have, but this one happened to be a gift. But yeah, nah, I nah, make that. Even, yeah, not even talking about just for you know, like I said, because I know that's something I forgot. You you yeah. said you do do hats though. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So how long would you how long would a, a hat take you? Well, if, um, if you order a hat, and depends on what you get done to it, like just a simple hat, it may take three days. All right, copy that. So again, now if you're coming over to A Straight and you are picking something up, one thing he's telling you is you need patience for the craft and the quality oh, yeah. of the merchandise. Yeah, this is one thing I always tell people. Like, I don't have nothing already done. Like, <laughs> my stuff is custom order. So when you, and you know, the funny it, thing, put it together. <laughs> the funny thing is the customers that the good, the exclusive customers that want the exclusive stuff, they never like. They, you be like, yeah, I'm gonna get this today. They, they like, oh, all right, just let me know when it's done. You know what I mean? It'd be I got like, some of those too, yeah, yeah. Yes, <laughs> like it, it'd be good. It'd be like you start doing with higher quality customers who want exclusive stuff. You will see the, the you know what I mean, they they want to pay you more. They want to pay you extra. They want to pay you quicker and upfront. Um, it's never a problem like the exclusive customers because you're dealing with exclusive problem pro things like you do like one of a kind somebody like, oh, i want this like this they 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 good they normally they come with a good characteristic nah I try to tell people all the time like i don't have nothing on deck because nothing is already done because it's what do you want exactly. <laughs> like Let's go. you gotta tell me what it is that you want yes and sir the one thing that i always i can't get stuck with stuff I hate no. doing like that. When I first started, when I first started doing just jerseys, I got too many of just like your homies who all oh, give me a oh, whatever yeah. jersey, and now you get stuck with that, John. Yeah. Tell people I call all the time. The we but all this got is, that bed. It's the bed. This is, this is business. It's not personal. Yeah. I want our personal relationship and our business relationship is two totally different things. Like Yeah, so that's the learning come, curve. Yeah, don't, yeah come, no. don't come to me talking about the homie price and – Oh no, no, but you know my folks. Uh -uh. I tell people you buying two or three of them, then we could probably work something out. But Maybe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But if you're getting one, then anything that I cut off the price is just money out of my kids' mouth. And that's not what we do. Um no, no, more, sir. One more time before we wrap up episode 136. Let them know uh the website, let them know where to follow you at, let them know all of that good stuff one more time before we close this one out. Okay, so I'm a strat and I'm the leather king. So if you want to see any of my stuff or get in touch with me, go to astratton.com. That's astratton.com for the website and on social media, TikTok, Instagram, so forth. It's astrat. That's A-S-T-R-A-T-T-O-N. Come check me out and make sure you follow. Copy that. Appreciate you coming on, bro. That was episode 136. Spotlight. Thanks for having me. We are out. I am hype. That's H-Y-M-P-E. It's hype. It's not hype. I'm not geeked up. <laughs>